Hi everyone, my name is Bruno Munoz and today I'm going to be doing my hominid uh, or my subject on Auroran tugenensis. Uh, I chose this hominid because they are believed to be a close relative of humans and they are also at the very base of human evolution. Um, what's known about these hominids is that they are probably the closest link to humans in, ev in the evolutionary tree and if more evidence appears to prove that they are correct then it could possibly remove the Australopithecines, or such as Lucy, which is Australopithecus afarensis, from that tree and just make it a branch that branched off from the human evolution. <clears throat> um, this is huge just because of the fact that it has not been long believed that uh, the Australopithecines are a direct link to humans, and there is a lot of evidence pointing towards that. But if Aurora tugenensis is proven to be a lot closer to humans then it, it would change a lot of history books I guess you could say um, this is only because Aurora is both earlier by about three million years and shares a lot of similar traits so far with the remains that have been found to humans um, right now Aurora and Tugenensis is the only type in this genus uh, and they were also believed to be both bipedal and tree dwellers uh, the fossils were located in the Tugan Hills of Kenya, in a mountainous region with forests. So they believe that Aurora lived in a forested area with open woodlands, <clears throat> hence the tree climbing. Uh, the fossils were found by a team led by paleontologist Bridget Sanu and geologist Martin Pickford in 2001. Uh, so far, with such little evidence, it's hard to tell the difference between. Uh, their ancestors in Aurora, uh, the ancestors being Sahelanthropus chidensis. Uh, the only thing that they that paleontologists believe is that Aurora uh, probably had a bigger brain and that bipedalism was more prominent than their than Sahelanthropus chidensis. Um, the anatomy of of Aurora tugenensis is uh, is very hard to describe just because there's so little remains it's mainly teeth uh, part of a mandible and a few femurs and um, also a phalanx a hand phalanx so with that they found out that the femur is very closely related to all bipedalist hominids um, in that it had a, the femoral neck was elongated and with a groove <clears throat> and with their phalanx it found it was curved more like an ape so that suggested they were also tree climbers their hands being curved was meant for a lot better grasping um, their uh, their teeth were primitive and that they had canines like apes except a lot more reduced so a lot closer to a chimpanzee and and they believe that their size was about the same as a chimpanzee so about four feet tall at, at the most um, which also suggested they were a little bit bigger than what uh, Arthropithecus afarensis was um, they had their enamel was thick but relatively small to its body so had small teeth uh, it's believed that they used simple tools like chimpanzees such as twigs, sticks, uh, rocks not modified uh, for crushing nuts and uh, basically all of these tools were used to obtain food and because of their flat molars it suggested that their diet was mainly uh, fruits and vegetables and nuts um, but they may have been opportunistic meat eaters uh, but evidence has yet to be discovered for this um, so yeah so far this it about Aurora and Tugenensis. It's what we know so far and hopefully we can find more evidence because it's kind of exciting to see or to um, have something so big shaken up and history rewritten about our our human evolution and if uh, they find more remains and prove that Australopithecines are not the direct link to humans then it, it would change everything in science and we have to figure out what our uh, how it's going to change paleontology with that thank you for 
watching my video and I hope you have a great week. For my sources I used um, several websites. Uh, one was um, from the Smithsonian, Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History. Uh, I went directly to their website. Uh, also from the BradshawFoundation.com and also from Australia, the AustralianMuseum.net.au